we will start our discussion with bcd adder before going to this bcd adder let us see what is a, a bcd number as we have already discussed about bcd number bcd is nothing but binary coded decimal and it comes under one of the category of binary number every decimal digit is represented by using four binary bits in bcd format for example if i have a decimal number 19 then i'm going to use 8 bits for representing the decimal number 19 okay like 1 is represented by using 4 bits 0 0 0 1 and 9 is represented by using 4 bits that is 1 0 0 1 so this is how we are going to represent decimal numbers in bcd formats so let us see now the bcd adder okay now here i have plotted a truth table for the binary sum along with bcd sum along with the decimal numbers now i want to represent the decimal numbers 0 to 19 in bcd as well as in binary form okay so here you can see with the help of bcd format i have represented uh, nine numbers nine in decimal numbers okay by using four bits after nine that is for representing 10 from 10 to 19 i'm using a total of eight bits okay i have shown here only five bits okay so that is one zero 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 one zero 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 one okay why because this bit or this digit is always one so i'm using i'm representing only with one bit here and as you know how to form a binary sum okay so zero to nine is similar to the bcd sum but from 10 here we use eight four two one okay that is one zero one zero or something like that then you'll get 15 representation now from this truth table we have to design a bcd adder circuit for that we have to plot the k map for this binary sum so let us see how to form a k map for this as well as why to form this k map for designing this bcd adder now these are all the rules of bcd adder when the binary sum is greater than 1001 we obtain a non valid bcd representation as we know that with the help of bcd format we can only represent from 0 to 9 but if i want to represent a number greater than 9 then i have to use 8 bits okay so here when the binary sum is greater than 9 we obtain a non valid bcd representation like 10 10 is greater than 9 so we obtain a non valid bcd representation the addition of binary 6 to the binary sum converts it to the correct bcd representation and also produces an outp output carry as required so in order to get the correct bcd value i have to add a binary 6 to the resultant binary number then i'll get the correct bcd representation for example uh, assume that i have added 5 plus 5 in bcd so i'll get a value 1010 zero, zero. so if you add 6 binary 6 to that binary 10 then you will get the correct bcd representation now i have plotted all these uh, functions on the k map and i've got the output function c equals k plus z8 z4 plus z8 z2 okay now we have to design this circuit by using full adders let us see so here i have took four bit binary adder with z8 z4 z2 and z1 here 8 4 2 1 these are the weights as we know that and uh, this is what the circuit that we have designed with the help of the expression two AND gates who one of the AND gate inputs are coming from z8 and z4 and the other AND gate inputs are coming from z8 and z2 and the outputs of these two AND gates are given as an input along with c or k to the or gate and the output is connected to one of the operand to the four bit binary adder okay and this is what or this is how we represent the bcd adder okay let us take an example uh, assume that the add end is 5 and odd end is 5 okay now you'll get the output as 1010 zero, one, zero, that is 10 okay now here 1010 zero, one, zero is not a correct bcd value so we have to correct it by adding 6 okay let us see how to add 6 now here z8 is 1 this is one of the input of and gate and z4 is 0 so this is one of the input of the first AND gate therefore the output of this AND gate would become 0 okay 
and uh, for the second AND gate Z8 is 1 as well as Z2 is 1 therefore the output of this AND gate is 1 ok so if one of the input of OR gate is 1 then the output would become 1 and this 1 is given to here so 0 1 1 0 is one of the operand given to the 4 bit binary adder and 10 is given as one of the operand to the 4 bit binary adder so this 10 is added with 6 then the resultant value that you get is the correct BCD representation ok now let us take one more example where I want to add uh, 5 plus 3 so 5 is an add in and 3 is an origin ok then the output that you get is 1 triple 0 which is uh, a correct BCD value so here it does not require or it does not require to add 6 why because 1 triple 0 is a correct BCD value ok now here what happens 1 uh, Z8 is the uh, input to the first AND gate and Z4 is the input to this first AND gate therefore the output is 0 and uh, again Z8 is 1 but Z2 is 0 therefore the output of this AND gate is again 0 ok now as you have two two inputs to the OR gate is 0 as well as K is 0 we did not get any carry therefore the output is 0 now this 0 is applied to the second 4 bit binary adder therefore this 8 is added with zeros therefore you will get the resultant value as 8 again ok so this is how we are going to get a correct BCD value for the given binary sum and this is the circuit which is used for uh, implementing the BCD adder ok now let us see binary multiplication how we are going to do multiplication in case of binary numbers multiplication can't be that hard as you know that it's just repeated addition if we have adders we can do multiplication also so binary multiplication is done with the help of adders ok uh, we'll discuss that remember that the AND operation is equivalent to multiplication of two bits let us see how it is equivalent to multiplication of two bits now this is what uh, the truth table of the AND A and B are the inputs and AB is the output as you know that 0 is multiplied with 0 then the output is 0 if any one of the input is 0 then the output becomes 0 and if both the inputs are 1 then only the output of the AND gate is 1 ok and if you take the multiplication here if 0 is multiplied with something then the resultant would value would be 0 as you can see here and uh, if 1 multiplied with 1 then only you will get the value as 1 ok now both are identical therefore AND gate will be performing this multiplication of 2 bits let us see how it does so take an example here I have took one example with multiplicand and multiplier and uh, these are the partial partial products which I got here if 0 in the multiplier is multiplied with multiplicand then the resultant partial product would be all zeros if 1 in the multiplier is multiplied with the multiplicand then the partial product would be the multiplicand itself ok so here you can see we have got totally 4 partial products and then we are adding those partial products to get the final result or final product since we always multiply by either 0 or 1 binary number contains only 0 and 1 the partial products are always either 0 or the multiplicand as just now I said ok if you are multiplying 0 with the multiplicand then the partial product would be zeros if you are multiplying 1 with the multiplicand then the partial product would be the multiplicand itself there are 4 partial products which are added to form the result so we have got this particular result by adding these 4 partial products ok now let us design a circuit for this ok before that we will see how to design that circuit the AND gates produce the partial products ok as just now we have seen that AND gates will be producing the partial products ok why because here you are doing just multiplication ok for a 2 by 2 bit by 2 bit multiplier we can just use 2 half adders to the to sum the partial products let us see how to do that so A0 and A1 A0 and A1 here these are the multipliers and B1 and B0 are the multiplicand ok so if I am multiplying A0 with the multi multiplicand then the result would be A0 B1 A0 B0 if I am multiplying A1 with the multiplicand then the result would be that is partial product would be A1 B1 A1 B0 ok now we have to 
add all these partial products and the resultant uh, result that we get is C3, C2, C1 and C0 where C3 to C0 are not carries they are, they are the product terms or else they are the final result ok now let us see how to design this so A0 and A1 so initially A0 B0 now this particular term is representing the AND functionality therefore I have took one AND gate ok and the inputs to this AND gate is A0 and B0 as you can see here A0 and B0 are given as an input ok and you have one more term in the first partial product that is A0 B1 ok therefore one more AND gate whose inputs are A0 and B1 ok next we have got the second partial product but here a0 and B0 are added to nothing then you will get C0 therefore A0 and B0 are taken as a final result or fin one of the final result that is C0 ok but next A0 and B1 are added to A1 and B0 so here the output of this AND gate is A0 and B1 this should be added to A1 and B0 so how you get this A1 and B0 so A1 is one of the operand to the AND gate and B0 is the other operand therefore the result would be A1 B0 now these two operands that is A1 B0 and A0 B1 are given as an input to a uh, half adder circuit ok now here you get the output as C1 that is the sum and the carry that you get from this addition will be propagated to the next half adder ok now for the next half adder one of the operand is the carry from the previous stage and the next operand is a1 b1 ok therefore you will get c2 the sum and c3 is the carry ok so this is how you are going to design a binary multiplier now let us see 4 bit by 3 bit binary multiplier for j multiplier bits and k multiplicand bits we need j into k and gates and k bit adders to produce a product of j plus k bits let us see what is this so here assuming that k equals to 4 and j equals to 3 so we need 12 AND gates why because j into k so 4 into 3 is nothing but 12 AND gates and uh, 2 4 bit adders why because we need k bit adders now here the k value is 4 therefore we require 2 4 bit adders ok and uh, this is how we are going to design that 4 bit by 3 bit binary multiplier where I have took 2 4 bit adders and then AND gates there are totally 12 AND gates whose inputs are A0, A1 and B, uh, A2 and uh, B0 to B3 are considered as the multiplicand ok and the final result would be C0 to C6 now this is the circuit for 4 cross 4 multiplier where the length of the multiplier is 4 bits and the multiplicand is also 4 bits ok and this is how we design the 4 cross 4 multiplier circuit in the next session, we'll discuss about decoders and encoders. Thank you.